I'm going to continue a few more uh, decals on here to make sure that we're truly getting the hang of this. So if I right click UV, UV shell, uh, I can see what is what on the UV map. Once again, if I don't have the UV map open or the UV editor, I can go here, UV, UV editor. And I'm just going to kind of push that off to the side so I can kind of see both of these. And next, I want to kind of put decals on these vertical fins. And I can see that that's that one and that's that one. And those are the outside. Okay, I can see that there's also the inside fin. So I got to kind of mentally just kind of remember, okay, it's this one and this one that I'm concerned with. And then also maybe the window. So if I look at that, I can see that it looks like this part here, uh, let's say, maybe all of that I'm gonna have kind of as the window, okay? And on this side as well, and it looks like there's the middle strip here uh, that's also gonna kind of play into that. So, okay, cool. That being said, now because I already have that started, I don't have to send another UV snapshot. I can just go back to Photoshop. And with this, it would be very difficult to work with without our map. So I'm going to turn our map back on. And now I'm going to come back down here. And maybe on the tail, I want to add another graphic. So I'm going to go to a new layer. And maybe go back to my polygon here. Uh, maybe this time, let's see. Maybe I'll do another star. And this time I'm going to make, um, let's see, a star like this and maybe I don't want there to be um, let's see you can see I can kind of adjust the stroke afterwards and maybe this time I want it to be um, a white and blue star like that and behind it maybe I kind of want to take that um, this kind of this red and yellow idea and I'm going to go like this and create a layer behind it and I'm going to just create a circle so I'll go to the ellipse tool I'll hold down shift but before I do that I'm going to just make it um, I'm going to make this yellow with a red stroke around it and now if I hold down shift and then I can do hold the space bar and kind of center that as I'm holding down shift going to think a little bit and then it should fill in it should there we go excellent and now I could use my um, arrow tools and kind of push that in okay great let's say if I like that um, I can see that that's comprised of actually two layers here so what I could do is I could shift select these layers control G as in goat to group them and now I can take that group and I could drag that into here to make a copy. Hold down shift and drag it over like that. Great. Now I've got some decals on those wings, those vertical areas. And now if I come up here to the windows, um, remember I said that that was black in there? So maybe I create a new layer and I'm gonna go to my paintbrush. I'm gonna make sure that I have black. And I could go like this. Uh, I could go to this layer, which has our ID on, or our map on. And I'm gonna go over here to the magic wand. And then I'm gonna kind of shift select these areas here. And hold on the space bar go over here and shift select these as well. And now I'm going to not paint on that layer. I don't want to screw up that layer. I'm just going to create a new layer and bring it underneath. And now I'm going to go into my paint bucket and I'm going to fill that. Okay. I want to make sure that contiguous is not selected because then it, it'll fill everything. And now if I go to deselect, now I could just zoom in here and I could paint uh, these little kind of in-between areas with a brush. My bracket keys to make it smaller. There we go. And I just did that. And I feel like it's better to kind of paint outside the lines. Okay. Um, 
to make sure that we have everything considered. There we go. Same with this side here. I'm going to, I only want to be careful if it's like next to, like, let's say this area here. Otherwise, I'm going to just kind of go outside the lines a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. And now the window. So I'm going to try painting that maybe like this. Probably there to here. Remember, I mean, this doesn't have to look pretty. Um, it just has to cover up or just has to color the um, faces that are important to there. Okay, maybe there. Um, there might be some back and forth. I might have to kind of test that to see if that's working. But let's see how, that, how we did. So remember, I'm going to turn off my map and I'm going to go File, Save As, I'm going to save this as JPEG. And I want to make sure that it's in my jet source images. And I'm going to call this color three practice. Okay. And now if I apply this, I'm going to go to assign or I'm sorry, material attributes, right click, go to material attributes. And then here I'm going to click on the folder and then I'm going to find color three practice. Hey, there we go. Awesome. Perfect. The window looks perfect. I can see these graphics look perfect. And now we're really starting to see the power of uh, kind of going back and forth between the UV map and our, um, so our 2D and our 3D. And by the way, if I click on this icon right here in the UV editor, it's going to display the image uh, right under the help menu. There's a little button here and you can see it, it displays the image. Um, and there we go. All right, we're well off our, on our way to creating some cool textures and kind of understanding this concept.